What's good with it? It's your boy, Mr. Mixer, and I'm back with another how-to video in Adobe Audition, all right? Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your beat stems before the artist gets there so you can already have it prepped up. Let's get to it. But first, I'm gonna need you to hit that like and subscribe to the channel for all the how-to videos and more. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. What's good with it? All right, we're going to get straight into it. All right, so this tutorial, this how-to is going to be on how to really, before your artist gets here, how to stem out the, the beat in the session, okay? You want to go on and get the stems in there so you can do a little mix on the beat. So by the time they lay their vocals, everything sounds pretty decent, okay? Or at least you want to get the stems in so when they get here, you can go from there. Uh, so let's get into it. This is not a two track. We are going to break this all the way down. Okay, so I already have my session set up. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, add some new tracks. I'm going to go to my, let's see, um, wrong folder. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go on this screen. Let me go put it here. Let's make sure we don't have, okay, cool. All right, so... I'm going to grab my stems. Do kind of have to know what to grab. I know certain things I don't need. Um, so, yeah, one, two, three. So, it's 11 tracks. So, I'm going to make 11 tracks, okay? 11 stereo tracks because that's what the beat is in. All right, so there's one. Let's make a few extra just in case. All right. All right, so the next thing, well, let me back up. Let me back up. All right, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go to mix. Let me go to right click track, uh, add stereo bus track. Okay, and let's call this beat. All right, I'm gonna put everything in one bus. Okay, just call everything beat for right now, and then I'll rename it. All right, so we're gonna make those tracks again. Okay, let's say the beat stem so I don't get confused. All right, cool. Alright, that's plenty. Alright, so what you want to do, once you get your tracks made, you want to just duplicate those tracks. That'll be cool. As long as they're all in this one bus, okay? Alright, you want to be able to control the bus. And I'm going to drag in my stems, okay? Alright. So now I have my beat. Okay, so I can go through these individually and I can just kind of play this. I want to turn this down a little bit on the bus. Okay, so what we have is you want to be able to control. Yeah. Okay. Open hat. All right, you want to label everything. Okay, so. Okay, we'll just call that effects. All right. Real simple with this. But once you do this, you'll start, you'll be familiar with what's going on in the track. I try to do it at least an hour or two before uh, the artist gets here so I can already have a session set up. And it works out pretty smooth and I'm already in the session. Okay. Now, if you don't know what they're gonna work on, you can't really work like this because artists like to move fast. But if you already know, Okay, that's all my melody right there. I don't think I'm gonna need Octane. Yeah, that's everything. So that's a group of my melody right there. Okay, so let's do... Yeah, see, I don't need these because I have this one right here. So we're gonna delete that. Okay, Control-Alt-Backspace. All right, I don't think I need this Octane either because I have it right here. Okay, so let's just go with that mix of that, okay? All right, so let's delete that, all right? So that's our main melody right there. It's always better to wait, uh, work and wave with everything. Okay, rim shot, call that rim shot. All right. 
And I think we have a, what we have? Cowbell. Okay. All right, so once we have that, you can do a little mix. We can we can start with a little mix. Normally, I turn the beat down because it just depends on how you want your mix to feel, but I'm gonna do a little something on this real quick. All right, so I normally start out with like my drums. So I mute out pretty much everything and I just solo everything and get my levels going at a good, you know, make sure everything is hitting real hard. Give yourself some headroom. Okay, I'm gonna turn that beat back up. The beat, uh, the bus, beat bus. Okay, and you wanna kinda mix it like it was mixed cause that's how they feel it. All right, so. All right, so let's bring in snare. Okay. Okay, let me switch screens. Let y'all see the um, actual. Okay, I'm gonna flip it out. All right, so what I'm trying to get y'all to see is that screen. Cool, cool. All right, cool. All right, so let's get it. Okay, this is just a basic mix. Okay, just to get me going, okay? All right, I wanna do all my drums first. What that hidden? I like that right there. It's panned. Cowbell. Bring that down. Okay, now let's bring in, let's bring in our melody, okay? Okay, cool. Now, you might wanna just turn up your headphones a little bit, you know. I might crank this up a little bit, but that's kinda where you want it to sit. Maybe negative 12. That's a good starting spot. Okay, now we need to bring in this open hat and we're good. Okay. Yo. All right, so Okay, so this is how you stem out your beat for your session. Now, I don't need these, so I will delete these. Okay. All right. Now, this is one way. Now, if I didn't think that it sounded if they don't like the mix of that, I would bring in the two track and I would just put it there. But I would just mute these out and I would mix it later, you know, so. But you want to get it where it's banging just like the, the two track, okay? So this is how you stem out. And then I would do, my tempo is uh, 96.999, okay? Let's set the tempo. All right, 96.999. Too many nines. All right, we're going to go to edit, preference, time display. All right. 96.999 whatever you alright then you make you can make sure that and I want to go ahead and do this too because I always do this I group them um, do control G alright then something else I'm going to do is go to the very top and let me see if I have this space up here 
skip I have this space so it's like a little bit of space I'm gonna take out so it clicks right on time all right cool okay so now you can adjust everything in your session okay now you could put vocals down here uh, put a hook lead you know what I'm saying you can go ahead and make your template for your session this is how you really go in with your mix okay all right so we will save that and now I'm ready for my session at 12 okay so this is how you set up your beat stems in your session for in Adobe audition okay so let me know if I helped you in the comments and yeah we're gonna keep rocking let's get it